Hey guys, welcome back to Star Citizen. Kapla here, and we're looking at the Gladius Light Fighter for, uh, well, it's pretty much a concept drawing, if anything. Um, now, this ship is described as very simple, uh, but ex military as well, and probably of a like, longer duration than most others. Um, so, I'm going to give it. Oh, hello. Go on, bugger off. Shoo, shoo. There we go. Now I'm going to give a quick overview of it. Uh, from what it's described as, it's a very simple fighter, so it's likely to be a bit cheaper to run than a Hornet. As for flying, we can't really say. It's um, hang on, if I just go where's cockpit? There we go. So we can, if we look inside the cockpit, you can see it looks very barren in here. This is kind of like a well, you're kind of expecting like a really cut down helicopter kind of thing. So. There is not a great deal in here. You can see it in the images as well, which I can drag up if I press escape. And then we just go up a bit. Uh, where is it? Here we go. This one here. There we go. Right. So, as you can see, it's a very barren cockpit. There's not really much going there. I'm not sure how much graphical like fidelity we're going to have actually in the, th in the uh, game. Because, don't forget, we've got to have like actual HUD elements and everything on that as well. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, there's the fighter itself. Now, this is for sale this week for $80. So, if you're interested in fighters, personally, I'm not so much. But if you are, then this one would be probably a good one to look at, actually. Because, from what they said, it's supposed to be cheaper than the Hornet to run. Now, personally, I don't really like how the Hornet flies. I know it's not finished, so don't hate me on that. But... I just, yeah, it's not my favourite one to fly, but this one may be one to look at if you're interested in fighters. Um, in terms of length and everything, it's pretty similar. It's 20 metres, so longer than a Aurora. Aurora. Um, and it's shields wise, it's max shield size is 3, so numbers, we can't really say much on that. Max crew is 1. So. It's pretty much similar to the Hornet in that if you had this, you wouldn't be able to go into the back of it like the Avenger or the uh, 300i. So this is literally just fighter kind of style. So carrier base and all that kind of stuff. But if you had a squadron of these, it would look quite badass, I must say, because it is quite a pretty ship. Um, is there anything else that can really be said for it? Uh, I'll keep this short. Uh, the other thing is the um, dog tags are out. And they are $15, and they are going like lightning. In fact, possibly by the time I actually upload this, they might already be gone. So, if you want one of them, I'd get them as soon as you can, because they are going to be gone very, 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 very soon. Um, yeah, and I don't think there's really much else I can add on that. Here you can see all the stats for it. You can view this as yourself on the site. I mean, you can compare it to the other ones. Um... And yeah, so what else can we look at on here? I'll just do a quick. Now you can see the engines. The engines look very cool on it. And um, there you can see all the guns. Oh yeah, it's looking like a cool ship. So yeah, I'll just do a quick look at this uh, just while it's out. So if you're interested, I'll definitely head over there. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you found it useful, feel free to like, sub, and all that crap. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Kaplar out. Ciao.